Hi, hello there YouTube and welcome to a revolting review. I am Random Ross and today I am reviewing the film uh, just wait for it I am reviewing the film Annabelle Comes Home so this is a 2019 supernatural horror which serves as a sequel to Annabelle and Annabelle creation and is the seventh installment in the Conjuring universe and this is written by written and directed by uh, Gary Doberman who wrote the first two and is now directing this one and it stars uh, McKenna Grace Madison Eisman Katie Sarifi, uh, Sarif, Sarif, Patrick Wilson, and Vera Famiga. So this, um, well, it says a sequel to the first two Annabelle films, and I think takes place around the same time as the first Conjuring film, because in this film, uh, it starts where the Warrens, Ed and Lorraine, take the doll. They then put her in a glass two in a glass case made out of church glass from a church. There's a blue fly in here. And they go away to work on another case. I'm assuming it's the case from the first Conjuring film. I'm not too sure, but it's I think it takes like I said, I think it takes place around the same time as The Conjuring. I mean, was The Conjuring set in 1971? 1971, 1973? Somewhere in the early 70s. I, I need to rewatch that one. Um, and the friend of the babysitter, um, oh yeah, um, her curiosity gets the better of her and she actually finds the keys to the forbidden basement where the museum of Ed and Lorraine's haunted collection uh, she observes it and then opens the case and accidentally lets Annabelle out and Annabelle causes a night of terror and fright for uh, little Judy Warren um, and her babysitter Mary Ellen and Danielle who Daniela who is the friend who let them out and the only way they can stop her Annabelle is to put her back in the glass case I should have warned you, little minor spoilers here and there, but uh, yeah, so let's get on to my likes and dislikes. Now, I like this one. I thought it was better than Annabelle Creation, but not as good as Annabelle, uh, but I enjoyed it still. I enjoyed it a lot. I mean, I've just seen this today, um, and yeah, I like the story to this. Jump scares, though, don't really jump scare me anymore because I sort of see them all coming uh, but yeah, is this like the third? Is this like an Annabelle trilogy? You know, because it should be. I liked how it Easter egged as well a few things in there. There was one Easter egg of a replica of the real Annabelle doll that the doll is based on that made a brief Easter egg in uh, Annabelle creation, and I think also made one in. Uh, well, in might have made one in Annabelle. I might have missed it. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, that's it. I also like the performances from our three young female leads, uh, McGrace, McKen McKenna Grace and Madison Eisman and Katie uh, Sarif. Um, they were great in this. I kept looking at uh, the girl who was playing Judy Warren, uh, McKenna Grace, and I remember... And she looks so much like Kiernan Shipka, who plays Sabrina Spellman in The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. But like uh, Gory Girl Felicia pointed out, she played a young Sabrina in a flashback sequence in a Christmas special of The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. But still, I couldn't help but think of Kiernan Shipka when I was looking at her. I also like Madison Eisman. I'm growing to really like her. She's a very pretty woman and... I first see, seen her in Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle, and she's returning for the second one, the next level. And I also saw her in Goosebumps 2, uh, Haunted Halloween. Um, so yeah, she's, for me, doing great, you know, she's doing great in films. You know, she's doing a lot of genres that I'm into. Uh, and I also liked 
uh, Katie Sarife. Am I pronouncing her name right? She was okay in this, but I didn't like some of the dumb decisions her character made. And she want, but she actually wanted to try and get in contact with her father because of an accident that she caused, but wasn't her fault, etc. I won't give that, but I won't give all that away. Um, I also like Patrick Wilson and Vera Famiga in this um, as the Warrens returning again because they did have a, a cameo in um, the Nun. And they had a bit more screen time in this. They were like in the opening scene in the first act. And then they came back for the closing act. The middle act was all focused on the girls and their night of terror. Um, and like I say, I'm assuming this it, the reason of their absence is they go away to do the events of the first Conjuring film. I might be wrong, but um, they're away for a whole night and day. Um... Yeah, so yeah, I thought this was decent. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna rephrase this. I think it was better than the first Annabelle. Yeah, it was way better than Creation and better than Annabelle. Cause I remember I just watched this and I I don't know whether my thoughts will change in the long run, but I just remember, I just think I was very entertained throughout. Um, but, and I like this a lot. A few dislikes here and there, like some parts it was too dark to see, but you know, like I say, that's what things are made for in some horrors. Sometimes things are made to jump out at you in the dark. Um, I didn't like how cliched the jump scares are. I think the jump scares are just getting a bit too... It's like when you see a film like this, I think you guess you kind of know what's coming with the jump scares and I knew what was coming with the jump scares uh, but we didn't just get to see Annabelle in this we got to see a variety of other ghosts including a haunted wedding dress a haunted samurai armor um, a haunted piano loads of haunted objects that were let loose by Annabelle um, so is this one you know, I mean, I've heard some people say this is a snooze fest. Some people say Annabelle Creation's the best one. Some say Annabelle is the first one. Whatever, you're all entitled to your opinion, but in my opinion, Annabelle Comes Home, for me, is the best one. And, yeah, I thought it was done nicely. And, um, I think that's it from The Conjuring films for a while. I think the next stop we'll get is The Conjuring 3. So, I best get all reviewed and pumped up and ready for The Conjuring 3, but that's not out well next year, but still, I enjoyed this one, so, yeah, Annabelle comes home, I'm going to give this, do you know what, I'm actually giving this four machetes out of five, because I thought it was that good, four machetes out of five for me, so, excuse me, so, yeah, that has been my review on Annabelle comes home, have you seen this one? Let me know down in the comments below, and if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and to hit that notification bell. All of my social media links are down below in the description, so be sure to check all that out. And, yeah. Though I said subscribe and hit the notification bell. I can never remember if I say that for some reason. Anyway, yeah, until next time, don't have nightmares.